Hello viewers, this is the part 4 of Ultium Designer tutorial. We will create a customized component library, the schematic library. In part 1, I have explained how to create an Ultium project. In part 2, basics of capturing a schematic was explained. In part 3, use of library and capturing a complete schematic was shown. All the links are given in the description. Please go through that if you haven't seen it. Now I'm going to capture this schematic where I'm going to create a new library for the U1 component. So I'll be using U1 as ADM358 op amp, single supply operation amplifier. So I went to DG key and search this component. At the bottom, you can find the datasheet. This is the datasheet of the IC. They have given the internal structure. It has two internal amp op amp. Here is number one, two, three, all the pins of the IC and their description. This is a schematic symbol. You can see it is not sequentially drawn like one to eight. So it is a kind of symbol. And these symbol details are given in the below. All the pin names are given here. So we'll be concentrating on this symbol. Now at the end, if you go, you can see its package details, its mechanical dimension. And they have given an idea how to make the footprint of this IC. The, how to design the pad, what should be the pad dimensions. Those we'll discuss later. Now let's open Altium Designer. This is the schematic we made in the previous tutorial. So go through that. Now we are going to make a new project, give it a new name and we will save it in a different new folder. All this was explained in previous parts. Once you have done this, in that add a new schematic and use the template of title block. This is the schematic sheet. Now I am going to add a schematic library. There are schematic and PCB library, but we are going to create now schematic library. Here we have to draw the schematic symbol. Now before you do that, click tab and you can see a property windows has opened. In the designator, write U and question mark like as if you're adding a new part so it will be asking for you uh, want you to this kind of part number give the uh, details and the description in the link you can add the details like I can write DG key in the name and in the URL I can save the link where I got the details like this link I can copy paste here and add it below is another important thing where you can add that is the footprint of this IC this is required when you want to create a PCB like this kind of footprint but we will discuss this later here we will be discussing only about the schematic library so I'm not going to save it here now so let's cancel it. You can add the model also. Now you go right click, select place and click line. Draw two triangles like this. Press escape to exit and you can create one more or you can copy paste the previous one. Now I'm going to place a pin. This is a pin where I'm going to give the designator name the first pin 1. Pin name is output A. Pin length I will select around 10 mm. Now see there is a cross at the front. The number side should be outside and the text side should be inside. Now I'm going to create another pin. I'll rotate with spacebar and place it there pin number 2 and 3. Now you rename the pins. Pin number 2 will be 
minus in A, pin number 3 will be plus in A. Now I'm going to modify the graphics little bit. It doesn't look good so I'm going to make this angle little bigger. So let's modify, make the angle little bigger, move the pin little front. So it looks better now. So I'll copy the same triangle and paste it there. Now I will right click and place a rectangle. This is the outside border of the IC like this. Click escape and then move it back. So here is the outer line. Modify little to make it look better. I think this is fine. Uh, I have to lengthen it little more and then place the pin number 4 at the bottom. This will be the ground. So it is easy for connection. So I'm going to place it at the bottom side. And if I go back and see again the pin diagrams, I can see the other pin names. And accordingly, I'm going to place that. So I will now create pin number 5, rotate it accordingly and place it. Remember number is at the outside and text has to be in the inside. Pin 8 is the VDD, so I will keep it at the top. Now I'm going to rename them. This is plus INB and minus INB. Pin 7 will be output B. So out B. Now pin 8 is V plus. So a positive supply. So I have to make V plus. Now remember uh, it can be dual supply so instead of ground I should write ground uh, slash V minus you can give a negative voltage there also so just modify the graphics again little bit and uh, here is uh, the schematic symbol of LM358 so I'm going to save it So I'm going to close this window. Now you can see uh, the left side, the library automatically came. On the right side, you can click component and you can see the component library came there. Double click the LM358 schematic library and place the component on the schematic sheet. You should uh, rename it. Like I click, if I click the property window, I can give a designated U1. Now why I told you to keep the number on the outside because when you add an wire it will start from there. You can see it is automatically starting from there. So that you have to keep in mind. Now I will quickly place all the necessary components. This I have already explained in part 3 of the tutorial. So I'm not going to explain it. So that's why this section is at a much higher speed so that you just follow the track how you are making. Uh, but basically as per uh, my hand-drawn schematic, I'm just the capturing the schematic here. The concept here, if the V in is higher than V ref, the LED will glow. I just modified the title block also so that it show the title, the pin numbers get automatically updated. So I hope you liked it. For more tutorial, don't forget to subscribe the channel and click the bell icon. 
Bye.